Okay, let's see what we got here. Unleaded, unleaded plus, super unleaded diesel. And of course, the best bread pudding. Now, I think I might have learned this as a kid. One of these things is not like the other one. But listen, if it's funky, I'll find it. And I might have hit the jackpot here in Watauga, Texas at Chef Point Cafe. I just got to check this out. But I'm chopped this bread in. Okay, we've got chicken alfredo for you. It's the best gas station I've ever eaten at. Duck a la range. Where they're serving duck and escargot, even fresh seafood cheppino. The first thing was, wow, when I took the first bite. The menu was incredible. Black and stuffed pork chop. Chicken scampi. Shepherd's pie. Ribeye, medium rare. It took us 10 minutes to decide what we wanted to eat. This gas station is the spot. And it's not because they're selling cheap gas, it's because of the great food. All right. All served up by Francis Waize and his wife, Paula. That's your peanut soup for you, sir? They have a unique story. That started more than 30 years ago when France had moved from Nigeria. The first one is medium well. Then met Mary Paula. <laughs> and then they tried to open a restaurant. This is to go. But the bank wouldn't let them. They don't want to give a loan to no. somebody who doesn't have any experience in the they, restaurant, but they would give us a loan for a gas station, so we said, okay, we'll take it. And figured they better sell more than just beef jerky. The duck a l'orange. Actually, my first time to have duck a l'orange, and it's amazing. I have my own way of cooking duck because everybody complain about duck being greasy. Twist the wings so it doesn't sit on the fat when you're cooking the duck. Trust the legs. Just poke holes into it. You bleed the fats out of it. Like duck acupuncture? Now we're going to season it with garlic, onion, pepper, paprika, cayenne pepper. So how long will this go for? What temperature? 350 for one hour. Get the skin crispy. It's going to melt the fat on the bottom of the skin. And poke it more and cook it for about one more hour. So we're roasted more warm. Now what are we going to do? Now we're going to debunk the duck. Oh, that bad boy's really rendered down. Look at that. I love how the legs just come right out. You're able to break it off of the bone and have that in one piece of duck with no bones in it. Impressive. Thank you. At a gas station, remarkable. Amen. Now for the orange sauce, fresh squeezed orange juice. Add our garlic powder, onion powder. It's a lot of sauce. We have a lot of duck. We have a lot of duck. Some black peppercorns. Brown sugar, onion flake. Then we're going to thicken it up with cornstarch. Now, how much longer will we let this simmer? Two to five minutes. And that's the orange sauce. I'm going to add my garlic butter, pico de gallo in. A little bit of orange sauce in it. And it's just going to soak that up. Fresh basil and parsley in it. Ready for the pasta. Wow. And voila, the little Parmesan cheese. Mmm. Ah, oh, it's tender. It's great, man. I mean, it just falls off the bone. Really, really good. You offer this once a month? Once a month. I want to get on that mailing list. It's really juicy. Seasoned to perfection. It's excellent. The entrees are just fabulous. Wow. This is like not gas station food. Okay, and I thought, why don't I sit down and have a little lobster bits? <laughs> Chicken scallopini for you? That's what I always get, and it's delicious. I am having the crab stuffed swordfish. When you come to a mini mart convenience gas station setup, you should stuff it with crab. Same for the chicken. It's phenomenal. And the crab stuffed pork chop. Black and stuffed pork chop right here. Look at that. Mm. I gotta cut this with my finger. Look at that, chop, cook perfectly, and that crab cake mixture on the inside is nice and tender. No wonder people love this one. As Ron Burgundy would say, it's a top chop. The sauce is excellent. I can taste the butter in it. It's really good. We love it here. Everything that you're eating is freshly made. Even dessert. Your bread oh. pudding? All I'm hearing about is bread pudding. Every time. So really? Even if I'm too full. And it's just legit. It is. It the is. ball. Definitely. All right. Definitely. Let's go get a bread pudding. Teach me this magical dessert, would you please? A lot of people hate bread pudding. So I've designed a, a good method so everybody will enjoy it. Now put the egg first, sugar. How many pounds of sugar was it's that? Five and a half. Vanilla, start it. About two minutes, add your milk. Your heavy whipping cream, half and half. It's a lot of liquid. All right. Next on Triple D, when bread pudding goes wild. I like to use fresh bread. Make sure the bottom of the pan is completely covered. We're just gonna use this French bread. They're not little pieces. This is good. More bread? I want the bread in the pan to be very, very tight. We pour liquid on this. This will weigh 500,000 pounds. Place the bread down. It's gonna be tight. And we're gonna cover the top. More liquid? We want the bread on top to be soaked also. Look at mess. <laughs> It is fluffy, but it come out good. We got the plastic wrap to lock in the moisture, and then we've got the heat barrier with the foil. 350 in a water bath for what, an hour? Two hours. Two hours? Yes. So it's really going to cook down. And then we'll take the top off, we crush the top, 
And then we flip the bread over. And then brown the other side? So you double crust it? I give the secrets away. Okay, done. And the sauce? That's scratch made too, with butter, sugar, and cognac. Ooh, get a little hit of that cognac. I'll give it to you, ma'am. I'm not a big dessert fan, but that, not over flavored and not over sweet. Mm. My wife would flip for that. Good stuff. I like the sauce the most. Probably one of the sweetest things I've ever tasted. You can't come here and knock it. Oh my gosh. Some of the greatest food you can ever have. Thank you for the steaks. I think this is the best restaurant I've ever eaten. So you are a professional bib-wearing machine. It was definitely way more than I expected. This really is something unique, something to be very proud of. Amen. If you take another big bite, I'll give you something. There you go. <laughs> Man, we see, put it in there, put it in there. You got yours, I got mine? Wow, you, you have think? the same one.